Thank you very much for coming back. Uh, with me, I have a uh, Mike from uh, Papa Joe's Italian restaurant, and uh, looks like you have a lot of foods here that are loaded with uh, vitamin C. That's true. An apple, an orange, a grapefruit, and a broccoli. Yeah. And the broccoli has the most vitamin C in it, so I'm going to make a little broccoli salad uh, that they can, your viewers can make at home. And that, that's what most people don't recognize. I mean, you, you always think orange, grapefruit, lemon for vitamin C, but broccoli actually is loaded with vitamin C. Now, all these recipes are going to be on Dr. Michael's website. So if you're looking at this vinaigrette I'm making, I'm making just a simple vinaigrette with rice wine vinegar, olive oil, a little bit of mustard, some garlic, salt, pepper. Yeah. And we're going to just make something to coat this with so it's and actually, a little more delicious. And actually, all these ingredients are, are powerful immune boosters. That's I right. Mean, you, you have garlic, fantastic in killing parasites, virus, bacteria, fungus. Uh, you have also the, uh, the mustard, fantastic also to boost the immune system. And then we have obviously broccoli that is just incredible when it, when it comes to uh, detoxifying chemicals and metals and things out of the system. And this broccoli was super easy to prepare. You just cut it into bite-sized pieces and then in boiling water, drop it for about five minutes until you can get a fork in it. Put it on a drying rack or on a colander, let, let it get all that water out and it'll actually stay in your refrigerator and you can do anything with it. But this particular way I, I love, and I had a little sesame seed. But I was, I was happy to find out that broccoli had so much vitamin C in it. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I mean, that, that looks delicious. And in addition to everything else, I mean, the mineral content is, is fantastic. So, you know, for vitamin C, here you have quite a spread. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually going to be talking a lot about vitamin C today. You know, in my, in my opinion, there's nothing that this vitamin can't do. In fact, the discoverer of vitamin C, they actually pointed out that the continuing energy exchange between tissues is directly dependent on vitamin C. So when this exchange stops, what happens? Well, we die. That is actually how important vitamin C is. So when, when you're eating this, think about that.